You see, I'm glad Paris has gone the way it is. I think it's time to move into plot. Obviously, the show is going to end in like, I don't know, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. I think six more episodes the show is going to end. So I think the show is moving a little bit. I'm sorry if you heard that bomb, by the way. I think it's moving a little bit quick now. I think it's time to get the whole, you know, Tamaroko type. You know, arc I think is going to her character a little bit because in episode 16 obviously you guys see Shin she was getting chased by this guy who basically has five parasites in him and apparently the mayor was apparently that parasite so the mayor has the capability of transforming into five different people I'm suspecting that's how the ability goes he has the ability to obviously become you know different types of people obviously alter any part of his body so if he wants to run after somebody it just makes his legs you know a little bit stronger if he wants to obviously fight back he'll make his arms stronger or i think if he wants to be like think and be more polar he's smart i think he you know will observe the humans and make his brain like theirs you know because he was able to show emotion and apparently miki whatever i don't know if i mentioned miki whatever so you know miki was five pairs i guess so basically me was part of one of the mayor's personalities which actually like, because it just showed us more of how Miki's character came to be, how his character unfold. I love that. Also, Shinji, I don't think Shinji's character has changed anymore, but the plot is starting to move more forward. Whether you like it or not, it is trying to, I feel like, not yet rush, but I feel like it is going to rush a little bit because after the season is starting to wrap up, or maybe the end of the anime is trying to wrap up because I believe I said it's going to wrap up between five to six episodes. I can't really keep counting right now because, you know, I was thinking this anime is going to wrap up quite because I feel like 24 obviously the manga's ended the manga came out in the 90s and they're not gonna do any more chapters so the anime the, the anime is following the manga so the manga's completed so whatever freaking direction the anime choose to go to maybe it'll pull in a coming out kill and not go in the an manga's direction and maybe go a different direction I have no idea what's gonna happen I don't know if Matt is Matt has given me the right judgment and change the ending to something a lot better because Obviously, a lot of manga viewers want Madhouse to follow the anime, even if the ending is kind of rushed. They want them to follow the manga. But some people all who read the manga, like, you know, I don't want it to follow the ending because the ending was very rushed as well. Also, I believe, I don't know, I can't remember if, you know, I talked about episodes, you know, 15 was more of 16. Because 16, obviously, I don't really have the greatest memory in the world. So it's going to be a majority of 17 as well. Also, with the aspects of 16 as well. So, how is Miki's character? Isn't the Mary basically, you know, becomes ultimate monster is that mayor become gonna become that monster in the poster because i keep mentioning that guy in the poster because he looks very freakish with eyes all over him freaking like is he going to somehow evolve is one of the <clears throat> parasites become like you know this wow i can't really talk today becomes like this mega parasite type monster you know what's gonna happen as well so we obviously got to see the freaking the Sherlock, the detective guy's family always there because the other parasites killed him. Well, they killed their parents and he eventually met his death in the this week's episode, episode 17. And his family met the death in the episode 16, which was last week's episode as well. So they died because, you know, freaking the detective was getting so near to the conclusion. He, he knew Tamaru was a monster. He knew everyone was a parasite. Shin, if Shinji never told him, I think his parents would have... Ben or his family would have died anyways because I feel like you know Tamaruk was gonna be that kind of person but I don't think I think she was one who said obviously to kill him but I feel like she isn't she probably did do the whole operation tell him you know you should kill him anyway so you know I love how the story the plot is moving more forward more forward because episode 16 I think you know episode 15 14 it was kind of like meh but I think it's getting back on track with Obviously, characters who are moving apart as well. Tamaruko is becoming more and more human. I mean, has anyone ever noticed that? I feel like Tamaruko has kind of become more human. Even though she has no emotions, I think you know, she's obviously seeing breastfeeding the baby. You know, I think this baby is actually making her more human because she's surrounded. Well, she's surrounded herself by a child who's already very human. Like, obviously, she can control a child, but she's made it very, you know, I don't know, very like parasite ish, but it's more human ish. If you know what I'm talking about, obviously, the whole half parasite, half human thing, I think she's trying to become a human, whatever. And the other parasites she surround herself with obviously notices and they try to obviously kill her. And the episode 16 concludes, we could see that, you know, she was going to fight all of them and she won the fight. So they showed her that her intelligence is out of this world and also parasites that panic and split themselves and, you know, live. For a bit longer so obviously she lost her intelligence for like you know a couple like you know minutes of she went outside whatever laughing hysterically and obviously you know you could see how dumb she was but you know when she came i think i think she was pretending to be dumb she could control her intelligence as well which showed how 
smart she was and obviously after they killed all the other three guys whatever was chasing after that shows that even though she, even though one of the guys you know i'm physically stronger than you but that doesn't really matter if you don't have the brains it doesn't matter how strong you are but it's just oh i'm sorry i'm like pausing a lot it's just because oh it's, oh it's a lot of stuff to talk about but at the same time i don't really remember i just loved how there was episode one how even the detective you know tried to kill the baby whatever he said to me in hierarchy park one and i was thinking morano's dumbass how is she not gone yet i know a lot of you guys love morano and i also love her character as well but she's very stupid oh my like how can you not know the mom the guy's mother like you know you're freaking when Tama Ruko went into Shinji's house, whatever, and you say, you know, are you the mother? I'm like, are you shitting me? I had to pause the episode just to say, are you fucking shitting me? Come on now. Hey, you have you never met his mother or seen his mother before? Have you, you should have gone around the house at least and seen some photos or something. But I felt the freaking, the I don't know if this is how manga freaking Maruno was like, but if that's how she is. Maruno's character is overall stupid and oblivious. She's freaking just... Well, I don't know if oblivious was the right word, but she's very unintelligent. She definitely needs to look around more, look at her surroundings and things, because she freaking doesn't know she and she's mother died. And obviously, why do you think the man is the way he is? You just should have at least some investigation, some research on your own to see how your freaking boyfriend is the way he is, an emotionless doll who's basically in this huge ass battle, but. I guess that the way she is, I suppose. She's a cute character though, but her intelligence level, let's just say it is quite low, pitifully low, but without even testing her, whatever, she obviously went to Hierarchy Park and the end of the episode, you could see that she was there, whatever, and I think in the episode 18, you know, the previous, you could see she's gonna get involved as well. How is Murano's character? Is it going to change on the characters? Is the plot gonna move more forward? So far, I definitely think the man of the episode definitely had to, and not the man, but the woman or the MVP definitely had to go to freaking uh, Tama Ruko. She was definitely seen episode 17 with her spotlight, episode 16 with Shinji and Miku, whatever. They had to leave from school, go all the way there, and now Shinji the hierarchy park. Are they going to face off? Because obviously, since the detective also tried to kill a baby, you know, he was saying it was a joke, whatever. And, you know, I don't think you joke about killing a baby, whatever, and you know. He obviously showed the side of Tama Ruko that, you know, I don't think she knew she had herself, the kindness side, the, you know, the, you know, the family side, the humor, humanity side. So, you know, she was very surprised that she had this emotion as well. So, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode, discussion, summary, review, thoughts, whatever. So, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you want to comment anything, any theories, questions, or whatever concerns. And be sure to follow me on Twitter. I am on Twitter a lot. Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Tumblr, all of them are in the description below, and it's guys later. Farewell.